Hey, good morning. Happy Tuesday. Rise and shine. It is May the 7th, 2019. And over here in beautiful central Pennsylvania, it's going to be partly cloudy today with a chance of thunder showers. Whoopee. Okay. So, uh, I hope you guys had a, a great Monday. Um, mine was uneventful, but uh, memorable, to say the least, okay? It was, it was a good day. I apologize I wasn't able to make my video yesterday. It's been a long time since I missed a video, especially uh, during the week. And uh, I just ran out of time. I had errands I had to run and things I had to do for this house. And I uh, uh, had to travel down the road a piece uh, for... Uh, possibly becoming a member of the YMCA and so on and so forth, okay? <laughs> Got my coffee in hand. I hope you have yours, and yes, we are, okay? Let's put some down. Uh, well, I watched The Voice last night, and uh, those of you that are uh, voice enthusiasts, um, I hope you watched it. Uh, I don't know. What do you think of it? Some of the country singers are right up there, I'm telling you. Ah, uh, yeah. It was a good show. I'm kind of losing interest in it, though, you know. I don't know. Um, maybe it's just because uh, there are newer uh, singers out there or performers that are doing more, more new or more modern music, you know. It's getting away from... Uh, my flavor of music, if you will, okay? Um, but we'll see what happens uh, next season. Uh, I've been watching for quite a few years. Uh, you know, it's been pretty good. Uh, no complaints on that. Um, I think I mentioned in my last video, or two videos ago, I don't know, or even on my posting, uh, a couple of days ago was Mr. Valley's, uh, Frankie Valley's uh, birthday, yeah. So I got this DVD, and uh, I'll tell you what, it's good stuff. <laughs> you know, it's uh, from a few from a few years ago, but uh, it's a live in concert. Uh, most of the stuff is from uh, Atlantic City, New Jersey, and uh, it's got all the hits on it. So if you get a chance to go on uh, Amazon, I believe this is where I got it. I did, yeah. Um, get yourself this DVD. If you guys are still into DVDs, right? Uh, this one, okay? I uh, highly recommend it. And there's a, there's a list of the music in case uh, you want to check out the songs to make sure it's got your favorite song on it, okay? And there's a little bit of information for you to uh, read real quick here. Or you can pause the video and read it, okay? Um, but I played it the other day and... Uh, I was very happy with it. I think I paid, uh, well, actually, I didn't pay any money, anything, because I had points uh, left over. <coughs> this thing, uh, it would have cost me less than 10 bucks, <laughs> and that was with uh, the free shipping, okay, because of Prime, I think. So uh, I got this with, uh, with the points I had. It didn't cost me anything, so that was a plus for me, okay? <laughs> I'm just babbling on. You know that. <coughs> <coughs> oh, <coughs> uh, got to put some coffee down. Uh, you do the same. Uh, I want to thank uh, my friend Lucille from Staten Island. I got this in the mail yesterday. Uh, my uh, grill towels, if you will, <laughs> for when I'm at one of my happy places, okay? Tell me this ain't cool. <laughs> flip, sip, and repeat. That's what it says right there. Flip, sip, and repeat. So that's going to go down there and uh, it'll, it'll be hanging proudly alongside this one on my Weber charcoal grill. My Weber 22-inch kettle charcoal grill. Okay? <laughs> Thank you, Lucille. And oh yeah, I can't forget about the prince. And she sent... Um, Heads, headbands, if you will, 
for Sir Prince for the summer. This one and a, an American flag headband, if you will, okay? Um, I'll see about putting this one on him, you know? We'll see. But uh, this one, definitely, we will put on Sir Prince, okay? Uh, but uh, that's about it on, on my presents that I got from Lucille from Staten Island. Yak Shamash, okay? <laughs> and uh, I want to thank all of you guys for... Uh, chiming in on my videos and that, and I uh, uh, got a, a new member, Christine Kidwell, yes, she's, uh, I forget where the heck she lives, but she's up in some, like Colorado or someplace like that, uh, uh, living out uh, in the wilderness, <laughs> the way she explains it to me, that's what I envision, all right, she's in a nice little log cabin, and mountains all around her that's what i envision it's probably not the truth but and uh she said she's going to send me pictures eventually of her excuse me of her uh beautiful uh uh log cabin up in the mountains you know she's up there with her husband and that and she said ralph it's beautiful very peaceful and quiet and i i could uh enjoy that but uh christine i'll tell you i i gotta be close to water. I really do. Huh? I'm, uh, I navigate towards water. All right. I'm magnetized towards water. Uh, a few years ago, well, more than a few, but many years ago, I lived up in the Pocono mountains for a couple years and it was beautiful. I loved it, but I, I always had the longing for traveling down to the Jersey shore <laughs> and, uh, you know, even in the summertime, when we were up in the Poconos, we'd hit the Jersey Shore, you know. And uh, I, I enjoy the mountains, don't get me wrong. You know, especially when there's uh, the Pocono Mountains, when, when it's snowing lightly and, you, you know, you're out there. And, I mean, there's no hustle and bustle around in some of these little de developments. And it's very peaceful and quiet. Uh, and... Uh, serene, okay, I love it, but I need my uh, my uh, shore fixes, if you will, okay, <laughs> that's uh, that's my calling, uh, you know, I had my boat down there, I had my boat down at Cape May at uh, Breezy Lee Marina, I had it there, uh, we had it at uh, Utch's Marina, okay, and what was the other marina we had it at? Right near Breezy Lee Marina. I forget that the name of that one. And then uh, we ended up moving the boat to uh, Rock Hall, Maryland. Uh, Rock Hall Rail, Railway Marina. Okay. And the only reason we actually moved it was uh, at that time, that's when the, the gambling and casinos were starting to get big. All right. And they were building. And so uh, obviously... Uh, where we were at Utch's Marina, and it's a beautiful marina. It was fairly close to the uh, casinos, and uh, obviously uh, supply and demand, uh, the prices went up for the slips, and uh, it was just a little bit too salty for us. So we moved to Rock Hall, Maryland, and uh, that was a nice, nice little gig for a while there. Uh, had some good times there. Matter of fact, my boat is still down there. The back end of it, okay. Uh, they they ended up cutting it in half, and uh, I forget the name of the uh, restaurant bar, if you want to call it that, down in Rock Hall, Maryland. Uh, if you, for you people that are in that area, if you go into Rock Hall, Maryland, and it's not all that big, not Rock Hall, all right. Uh, at least it wasn't back then. Um, the restaurant bar. You could ride over to it, you know, uh, and on the outside of the bar, up on the, the eave, like this, all right, was the back end of my boat. And it, uh, you can still see to this day, I believe, and the back end of the boat says, Easy Does It, all right? That was the name of my boat. And then you go around to the other side of uh, the building, the front end was the, uh, the front, I, I forget the terminology, but... That's on the front of the uh, the bar, all right? So it kind of looks like the boat went through the building, but obviously it didn't. 
But, uh, yeah, my boat was named Easy Does It. All right. For those of you that know Bob and Bill, you'll understand what I'm saying. Okay. I knew Bob and Bill for uh, 18 plus years. Yes, I did. Enough of that, okay? Um, let's see. Uh, uh, well, Christine, I just want to uh, chime in and let you know. Uh, welcome uh, to our little uh, uh, video segment here, and uh, I hope you enjoy these in the morning when you get up and, and ease into your day and enjoy your coffee. And listen to the old guy just babble, all right? It's always unscripted, if you will, all right? I talk about anything and everything that kind of comes into my head. Uh, today, birthdays, all right? We'll get into birthdays. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, actor uh, Tracy Lords, she's 50 today, all right? And uh, I did a little bit of research on her. Uh, uh, she's a pornographic uh, film star, which I didn't know, all right? And uh, I guess... Uh, in the beginning of her career, uh, from what it said on uh, Google, uh, she had a, uh, um, her identification was uh, not legal and not really hers from what I understand. Uh, but it said that uh, even though it said she was of age, she was two years younger than that. So I'm assuming instead of being 18, she started out in the industry at 16, okay, and I guess she made quite a bit of money back then, okay. Uh, Phil Campbell of uh, Motorhead, the rock and roll band, all right, uh, he's 57 today. Oh, Tracy Lords, she's 50 today, I'm sorry. Uh, who else do we have here? Gary Cooper, God rest his soul, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, American actor, he passed away uh, May 16th. 1961, all right? Tim Russett, remember Tim Russett? Yeah, um, he passed away in 2008, uh, June the 13th. He was uh, the host on Meet the Press. Um, I remember watching him. He was a pretty good guy, you know. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? I guess that's about it on, on the birthdays. Again, uh, as I've said in the past, there's plenty of birthdays out there, but most of those people I don't know. So, uh, and, and I guess it's probably not fair to you guys because you might know them, but I don't know. That's just the way I'm thinking, okay? Uh, weather today in central Pennsylvania, okay? Uh, Tuesday, which being today, high is uh, 73, and thunderstorms are in the area. The low is going to be 47. All right, Wednesday, the high is going to be 61, partly cloudy, and the low is going to be 50. Thursday, 64 for the high, 56 for the low, cloudy and rain. Okay, so that's uh, the weather forecast uh, kind of broken down for beautiful central Pennsylvania. So if you guys are traveling around in this area... That's what you're going to hit, okay? Um, I hope uh, you have a great day today, and uh, thanks for having me in your your uh, office and sipping on your coffee or in your house, in your kitchen, or even in your camper slash motorhome, uh, enjoying your coffee and me enjoying it with you. My friend Deb down at uh, um, King Nummy Trail Campground, she got in touch with me yesterday, and uh, she sent me a picture um, because our campground now, we're, we're all allowed to have golf carts. Well, <laughs> her and Jeff got a golf cart, and I mean, this sucker is mean looking, all right? It's, it's uh, higher, naturally, okay? And it's got the big knobby tires on it. This thing looks like a bear. It's, it just has muscle all over it, all right? It's a beefed up, uh, badass, excuse my French, badass looking golf cart, you know. So uh, uh, Jeff's going to have a lot of fun. And of course, Deb's going to have a lot of fun on that and uh, and the kids and that. So I wish them well with their brand new golf uh, cart. Um, you know, uh, she said they're going to have it delivered to the campground on uh, Saturday, I believe. 
So uh, I'm sure I'll see some more pictures on that. And uh, I'm watching the weather because uh, if it's uh, miserable weather, I won't be traveling the uh, four hours to uh, Cape May, New Jersey, uh, just to sit in the camper. I'm waiting to hear from my contractor down that way to see uh, uh, if he got done uh, the uh, work that I wanted him to do on the interior. And then he's uh, supposed to get me some prices and ideas for my my exterior. Uh, I want to have a, if you want to call it, a Florida room on the outside of my camper added on there. Not, not a big one, just a small one. I was figuring uh, at the most it's going to be four feet deep or wide, okay, after the two-by-fours are up, obviously. Um, and... A four by 12 foot okay so that comes out to a 96 square feet i believe that'll be big enough i mean uh i'll be able to you know put uh, um, oh what, what do they call these things uh that fold down into a bed but then also come up into a a um a, a little sofa i got one upstairs here and we'll probably take that down there futon that's the word uh have a little futon in there and uh uh you know, it's going to be windows all the way around uh, and screens and that. So uh, it'll be pretty nice if the price is right, okay? So that I'm looking forward to. I want to get that done. And uh, we painted the bathroom. My bathroom is finally finished, right? I put some fixtures up yesterday uh, in my bathroom. The the normal fixtures that you need for a bathroom, uh, you know, your, your toilet paper and things like that. And, of course... Uh, I got my t toilet paper roll going in the correct direction, at, in my opinion, right? It's got to go under this way, not over that way. That's my opinion. <laughs> I know there's, there's a lot of controversy on that. <laughs> you know, some of you will say, no, Wars, yeah, uh, you want the toilet paper roll to pull down this way when you got to pull it off. Well, I don't. I like it to pull up because when I'm pulling up, I can rip it off and it stops, Okay. The other way, if you pull it down to rip it off, it's going to go. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> and especially if you if you have a cat, which I don't, but if you have a cat and they go into the bathroom and they see that that little flap of toilet paper hanging down, you know they're going to play with it, so they'll have a mess all over the floor. So I like to have it going the other way. Again, that's just my opinion. Enough of that babbling, folks. All right, I'm going to have one more swig of coffee and then I'm going to say adios. Okay. Cheers in Australia. Ah, let's see, what do I got here? I got 18 minutes on this video. Wow, too long. And again, I apologize for yesterday for not having one for uh, May the 6th, 2019. But I do have one for May the 7th, 2019. Have a great day today, folks. Take care of yourselves. Be aware of what's going on around you at all times, all right? Love your family and your kids, your neighbors, your godchildren, you know, because we are not guaranteed tomorrow. And love your co-workers if you can, all right? Say something kind to somebody today. Make their day, all right? And always smile at people. Let them wonder, why is he or she so happy all the time? Who cares, right? <laughs> all right, folks, I love you. Again, thanks for having me in your house or your place of employment, or in your motorhome, wherever you might be. Thanks for letting me enjoy coffee with you, all right? Have a great day today. I will talk to you later on, and make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button and or that bell. I, obviously, the bell after the subscribe. That way you'll be notified every time I make a video. And share this with your friends and family, all right? Because I want more subscribers to get involved here. And like my DJ page on Facebook, if you'd like to. If you would, I should say, all right? Go to Ralph Warzenikowski and then uh, look for my page and like DJ Ralph Warzy. That's my page, okay? God bless you. Take care of yourself. Oh, and I can be found on Google if you want to do that. DJ Ralph Warzy, all right? Take care of yourself. God bless you. Keep on smiling, all right? I'm going to punch you out in three now one more time. Have a great day today. God bless you. Here we go. On three. One, 
two, smile now, come on.